just like that folks we're all done got the rack on the truck it looks amazing look at that this truck is shaping up hey how's it going everybody uh, my name is Jared this is Cali cruising and we do everything outdoors and today is one of my how-to videos so one of the videos I put out before was how I installed the Yakima overhaul HD uh, rack onto my truck which has a tonneau cover and that was a relatively successful video and because of work and um, other activities I actually needed to expand my rack so as you can see here's my 2017 GMC Sierra I got my tonneau cover and I installed these Yakima racks and they've been absolutely fantastic but I don't have anything on my roof here so I'm not able to get long pieces of lumber or other things my rack fills up relatively quick so in today's video I'm going to be installing the baseline towers along with more HD bars onto my GMC Sierra so I've got four of the baseline towers I got two HD bars 68 inches I have the HD bar to SL adapter you need this in order for this to work with these towers I got the two clips which are very hard to find and I ended up getting four of the SKS um, same key system just so I could lock it and not worry about anything so this should be a relatively simple install Yakima is kind enough to give you the documentation for the measurements and all of that good jazz the adjustments so we'll go over that we'll build it all on the table Put it up on the truck, tighten it, and that should be it. Should be pretty simple, so you gotta stay tuned. And just like that, the box is open and everything is organized. So let me give you the rundown. So within the baseline towers, you have your four towers, came with the Torx wrench, came with the instructions, as well as a nice little roll of tape measure and some stickers in order to mark each of these so that'll come in handy for sure the HD bars just come with the two bars and then it comes with an allen wrench to take these end caps off the bars already have this nice piece of rubber on the top and then the underside has tape uh, a tape measure built in which is nice so then you have your HD bar adapters these enter into the top right here and then you have your landing pads your clips your locks, the HD adapter paperwork, as well as the base clip paperwork. So this is the important info that they'll send you depending on your make and model. So one of the first steps that you want to do is take that documentation that comes in the base clips and fill it into these little boxes. This will just make it a little bit easier to read and uh, makes installation a lot easier when you can see things clearly. Okay, now that I have all of my measurements and adjustments transferred to the main instructions, I'm ready to uh, install the towers to the HD bar. So in order to start that, we have to take the end caps off and also put the adapter onto the uh, tower itself. Okay, so the first step that we're gonna do is go ahead and remove these covers. So they have these little thumb pressure points press put some pressure and take it off okay so now we want to pull out the security tab this is the security tab right here you'll pull it outwards and you'll hear a click okay heard it. it's really quiet it's just a tiny little click okay so do that for all of these now we enter our HD bar adapter so now in order to put the adapter into the base tower you actually have to remove this metal piece first take the plastic piece and insert it with the two clips towards the inside and outside like that go ahead and push it in so you hear an audible click click and click okay so then you're gonna take your adapter put it onto the bolt make sure that your security tab is pulled out rotate the tower and you can see that it exposes the screw hole right there they included torx wrench and go ahead and tighten it up 
So we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process with all four towers. One thing that you want to note is that you don't want to snug these at all. You just want to tighten it just to where it's level. So even this one, I'm a little bit too inset. So I'll go ahead and just loosen it a little bit so that when I put pressure on it, that it's nice and flush on both ends. That's pretty good there. That'll help it when we're sliding into the bars here. Now we're going to go ahead and remove one end cap from each bar. So now we can go ahead and slide our towers on so the clip faces the outside. So we'll go ahead and loosen it just a little bit more. Okay, okay. Slide this guy all the way over here. Make sure they're facing the opposite way. A lot looser than you would think. Okay, and we repeat the process. Okay, so now it is very important that we get our M1 measurement, which is the distance that the two are separated from each other, and transfer it to our towers here. So the M1 point is from the innermost point of the tower to the innermost point of the tower. Yep, 43 and 3 quarter, okay. So now we need to set our P1 position in relation to the arrow. Okay, so now that I got the, the tower centered on the bar at the appropriate M1 dimension, I'm going to set this at the right angle. I'm at A, which is the furthest dash away from me. There we go. So just push the screw as far over as you can. Yep. Repeat the same for this side. So push the bolt as far away from me as I can. Come back over here. Tighten this one. Okay. Okay, now that I got the first bar all set with the towers and everything adjusted accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and do the second bar and then we can put it all together, finish that up and put it on the truck. Something I forgot to mention is that there's a little arrow on the bars and you want to orient that away from you and then follow the instructions as such so that you make sure everything is the same and you don't get any bars rotated the wrong direction. Okay, so now that we got the towers attached to the bars, we're going to go ahead and put the landing pads on the towers and get it ready to put on the truck. Okay, now that we got the tower tightened to the bars, we can go ahead and install the landing pad and then adjust those to the proper T dimension. And after that, we should be put it, good to put it on the truck, put the clips on, tighten it, and we'll be done. You want to face the arrow towards the end of the bars. Line it up with the, the metal bar right here and here, push it till you hear that click. So now you're gonna adjust your T angle, which in my case is in the center. It's number two for both of the bars. So I really don't have to worry about much. So all you have to do is snug this guy until we hear three clicks. One, two, three. Okay, so everything is pre-assembled. All I have to do is put the end caps back on and ready to put it on the truck. Okay, so now I need to get my M2 measurement. How I do that is I go from the corner of the uh, paint here up to there, 10 and 3 quarters. 10 and 3 quarter. Perfect fit on this side. It fits right in this nice little track right here. Let me check the other side and make sure I'm good on my adjustments. See here, I'm not quite in where I want to be. I'm not in this track, so I need to squeeze this bar a little bit closer together. A few moments later. 
Okay, so after a little wheeling and dealing, I finally got the measurements right. So the front ended up being 43 and 5 eighths inside to inside when they told me 43 and 3 quarter. The back, I also made 43 and 5 eighths because that's what they said. So I'll see what it looks like when I get there. Looking at the front, it looks really good. It looks nice and level with the earth. These pads sit nicely right along this edge, right in the track. Same thing on the other side. So now where you need to secure the front one because that is our go-to for the second one. So we'll put the clips in, secure it. I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so we need to open this tower access door. So it opens up just like that. Open your doors if you haven't already. And now we can insert the clip. Okay, so you may need to loosen this bolt just a little in order to get it to drop onto the clip because I didn't want the clip just falling off onto my truck and damaging something. So we'll do the same thing here on the driver's side. Open our little access door. Push our clip inside. Now I kind of picked this thing up just a little just so it's not contacting the car and you want to tighten this swing bolt until it actually makes contact with the car. Right there. I'm gonna do that on both sides real quick. So again, just kind of pick up on it like that, just to get it to kind of hang out there, tighten until it barely touches the car. Now we're gonna tighten our drive bolt until it also contacts the car. Do not tighten this, just getting it snug. In fact, I can go a little bit more on this one. Okay. Okay, touching right there. Same thing on the other side. Tighten this guy until you're touching. Okay, right there. Now you're gonna fully tighten your swing bolt until you hear three clicks. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay, same thing to the passenger side. Looking for three clicks. One, two, and three. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Looking for three clicks. Okay, we got our perfect three clicks. Go ahead and close this access door and we can start on the rear. Okay, there it is. Just wanted to show you how the door worked. Works nice and good. Things look clean. Okay, so the back is really simple. Um, it's at 35 and 5 eighths right now, so let's hope that that line on my truck is pretty straight. If not, I'll adjust it, and we just go 32 from the other bar and tighten it up the same way, so we're almost there. Okay, I got the bars centered perfectly where the instructions tell me. Now that's 32 from the front edge of there to this front edge. Basically, it's the same as center to center, just a little easier to see that way. So all I gotta do is follow the same steps, open our little access door, loosen these two bolts, slide our clips in, tighten, uh, snug this one, snug this one, click this one and click that one. And that's it. Okay, so I got all of the bolts tightened down, but you're supposed to tighten the swing bolts one more time. So don't forget that step. I want you to click this four more times each. Let's see if we can do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now all we have to do is put our covers on and install the locks. So make sure that you shut this door and this little slider. And then these just kind of press fit back on there. Hook in the bottom a little bit first. And then clips in place. Beautiful. So you need to take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of gently pop these things out. With the key already in the cylinder, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and rotate.
rotated in there. Start vertical. Turn it horizontal. And like that, you're locked. And we will repeat. Woo, just like that, folks. We're all done. Got the rack on the truck. It looks amazing. Look at that. This truck is shaping up. So the one last thing I have to do, which is unrelated but also related, is I need to adjust these up so that everything is nice and in plane. So I'm um, gonna do that real quick and we'll wrap it up. The finished product, super strong, HD bar, beefy, moves the whole truck, got these guys repositioned, moved it up to the proper height, a little bit tedious and I had to use an 8 foot level and even an 8 foot level wouldn't span the whole way because I have these spread too much so I clamped a square on there. Overall I'm really pumped on this install. It wasn't too hard at all. Just follow the instructions and take your time and do everything the way you're supposed to do and you should be fine. So love it. Well that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Again my name is Jared and this is Cali Cruising. If you enjoy this type of content please consider liking and subscribing. Leave a comment if you have any questions or um, advice for future builds and appreciate you watching. So Catch you on the next one. Peace.